So, you want to record from home? Okay, I got you covered. Hey, what's going on, man? It's your boy DJ Las Vegas, and I'm here to show y'all how to record from home on a budget. Let's get it. First and foremost, to my old subscribers, welcome back. And to my new subscribers, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. Before we get started, I want to give a big shout out to my sponsor, Crow Gang Beats, for providing the backdrop for this episode. And also, a big, big shout out to Drip Too Hard Clothing Company for giving me this sweater. Money out of cuddles, baby. I'm going to provide the link in the description below. All right, all right, now we got that out the way. Let's get into episode one computers now any modern computer could record audio but if your project has over like 16 tracks 18 tracks 20 tracks 32 tracks even you're gonna need a powerful computer this is where I come into play option number one Mac versus PC now the great debate is always what's better Mac or PC and to be honest it's really up to your comfortability some like Mac some like PC. Me personally, I got a PC. So real, real simple. It's basically what you like to use, whether you like to use Mac or whether you like to use PC. The choice is yours. Option number two, laptop or desktop. Now the only difference between a laptop and a desktop is its customization. Some might want to add a component later, like a video card or maybe a USB-C hub that goes right into the motherboard that's where a desktop comes into handy. With a laptop, you're only stuck at improving the RAM, you know, like giving it more RAM. So, I mean, it's really up to you. If you want to just bang out those tracks and not really care about the future, definitely laptop is the way to go. But if you want something like customizable where you can add this and add that and tweak it a bit, then desktop is your way to go. Now to the nitty gritty, the most important specs there's three things that matter when choosing your computer, and that's the specs. You need a powerful CPU, and you need lots of RAM, and lots of hard drive space. For the CPU, I suggest i7 or better. And I would rather stay with the Intel brand. I mean, AMD is I, right. you know, the higher brand AMDs. But Intel, try tested and true. i7 or better, that's for sure. When it comes to the RAM, I would suggest 16 gigabytes. But I mean, eight gigabytes is cool too. 16 gigabytes is way better. And for your hard drive space, make sure you cop a couple internals. Make sure they're at least a terabyte, two even, three. You gotta make sure you got a hard drive space because audio takes up a lot of files. You'll be dealing with waves and waves are huge files. And once you have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 projects, your hard drive could really, really, really get smaller in a short frame. What works for me, I got a PC, a decked out Dell. I added a video card because I do video as well. And I added RAM. I made sure I got like 16 gigabytes of RAM in there because I deal with lots of files, lots of clients, lots of songs. And I got two externals, one for backup and to run my files off of. Because like I said, that hard drive in your computer, it ain't worth shit. So to conclude this episode, Mac versus PC, it's totally up to you. Laptop or desktop, it's totally up to you. The most important thing when it comes to choosing your computer is the specs. Make sure to do your research on the specs. But don't worry about that. I'm gonna leave some links below to help you on your journey. Before I let y'all go, these are my opinions. Make sure y'all go do your research before you go out and purchase your computer. If y'all have any questions, make sure y'all hit up the comment section below I'll make sure to answer all the questions as best as I can. Make sure y'all like, make sure y'all subscribe, make sure y'all share, and all that good, good, you heard me? I'm DJ Las Vegas, and like I always say, make sure tomorrow is better than yesterday. Gang! <laughs>